Noise comes in colors. There's the white noise, which I play in my kids' rooms in a desperate attempt to get them to sleep. But today I learned there's pink noise, purple noise, and brown noise. A professor at Regis University is an expert on the topic of brown noise. It's seeing a spike of interest on social media with talk of possible health benefits. Yeah, yeah. So um, this basically is sort of a, a, a waveform diagram of uh, what white noise looks like. We sort of play all the frequencies that humans can hear kind of all together. Somebody basically said, let's just take a brownie in motion to this and uh, play the loud, the high frequency sounds very quiet and the low frequency sounds very loud. And this is what you get when you get brown noise, which sounds more like rumbling thunder, like waves crashing on a beach. My name is Dan Burlow. I'm a professor here at Regis University. I study pharmaceutical sciences and I have a strong interest in brown noise and how it affects sleep and ADHD. It's called brown noise because the way that they've transformed the frequencies is using a Brownian technique. One of the first things that people really start using it for is something called sound masking or auditory masking. You listen to it when you're trying not to be distracted, whether it's you're sleeping or studying or concentrating, and it just masks out all of the other sounds that might distract you. There is good evidence that kids with ADHD can benefit from white noise and probably brown noise because it's more, more pleasant. People can actually enjoy listening to that sort of brown noise. It sounds very soothing, and so it's a much more palatable way to sort of get that, what we call an auditory blanket over your brain. You know, like this is, this is nice. 